The clear leader of the tournament, Wesley So, is joining us. Wesley, you've switched a little bit. Not a Berlin, but a Petrov. Where did your knowledge end here? Ah, uh, yeah. Before we talk about the game, just want to say, first of all, uh, very pleased to win, and all glory to God, of course, for giving me the win. Um, yeah, the Petrov is twofold. Ba basically, Fabiano played it against me the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, so I thought I tried with the other side. Uh, secondly, we had the rest day yesterday, and Hans prepares extremely, extremely well in the openings. Like, sometimes he can even predict. <laughs> so I thought, why not the Petrov? Also, if you check on the database, he doesn't have... Like, he has hundreds of games with 96 for both colors. Right. Meanwhile, the Petrov, he only has a few. Mm -hmm. And he generally plays very tedious lines, like he plays Knight D3 on Mob 4. And so I thought I'd try it today, but... Um, um, yeah, it worked out well. I mean, obviously, I just want to play solid today and with all the drama, just try to survive. But uh, Hans was obviously playing for a win, as he said he would. Uh, but I think I was, uh, I equalized well in the opening, like he didn't play the most uh, critical lines. I'm not sure where his preparation ended. Maybe it ended on move 15 when he played bishop e5. Um, and here, I had a similar position where if white plays bishop e5, then you play knight e4, knight f6, to, uh -huh. because the d5 pawn is the only problem. Right. I mean, black has other moves, but I thought this equalizes uh, well. Maybe he can try, like, I don't know, queen f5 or something, like queen f5, g6, queen h3, and try to start up something. Of course, this should be nothing. I'm sure the engine gives all zeros. But um, in the game after I played g6, a6, I see no problems for black because he doesn't have any any place to create uh, anything. And I mean, if he plays like knight f5 in two minutes, then <laughs> then whatever. But I don't think you knight f5 position. works. No, I meant like when I play g6. Ah, knight f5 here. Whoa. Yeah, I thought knight f5, gf5, and then knight h4. Um, oh, no, no, not takes. Knight h4. Uh -huh, that makes more sense, actually. And then just knight g7. Oh, wait, so, wait, so the point is after knight g7, you play knight f5? Uh -huh. Yeah, this is not that clear, actually. Yeah, maybe not knight g7. Yeah, maybe not knight g7. I think knight e4. Knight e4. Knight, uh -huh. knight, knight f5, f5, and then some f6. f6, maybe bishop f6. Or oh, maybe bishop f6, yeah. Huh? Bishop oh, bishop f6. f6 too, yeah. Right. But, and then, yeah, so I saw something like this. Because you don't have oh. g3 even if it did something. Yeah, but, yeah, and the game was very tedious, and I thought h4... By the way, were you surprised about this move g3? No, because he wants to take, take, and cd5 without having to worry about knight f4. Like, if, white wants, mm -hmm. if white wants a door, he can take on f6, and then cd5, I guess, knight f4, queen e4. And then just play this, this structure. Yeah, I mean, it's completely equal. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, he didn't choose the most critical lines. I thought h4 was a blunder, because after knight h5, his bishop's getting trapped. Right. And I didn't see a way for him to equalize here. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, he could sacrifice a piece with knight g4, then I play f6. Then he can, he thought he could give a check or he can play rook d1. But after rook d1, I can play like bishop f8 or something, or queen d7. And I think black's better in all lines, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also felt like that. <coughs> I will tell you that there was a way to equalize the position. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see a way to equalize after knight h5. Yeah, after cd, cd, you might not believe it, but it's b4. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I wanted no, the to reaction I wanted to get. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> that, Before, yeah. That, that's, no, that's exactly the reaction Before, I wanted to yeah. 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 And f6 went bit 3, huh? Yes. And now, it's still messy after that. The computer says zeros, but of course. Uh, and the point is that you don't want to play queen d7, because after queen d7, knight g4, f6, he always gains a tempo attacking the queen. No, I think, I think we were playing queen b3, rook, a, rook a, g8, and uh, rook g1, right? Yeah, f6, rook bishop b1, b8. And the idea f6, is bishop b8. Yeah? Bishop b8. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I didn't even see this move, bishop b8. It just, it's so hard to find moves like that. But I guess... Yes, it's almost impossible. But yeah, okay, I have an engine. <laughs> yeah, and, and not, not a strong engine. <laughs> not a strong engine, but it still sees very good moves. <laughs> yeah, b4, I assume... I don't know, maybe Magnus would find b4. I don't know. But he's a pretty strong player. Tell us a little yeah. bit about this endgame. You got all the way here. It felt like your opponent was under yeah. a lot of pressure. You exchanged the rooks, there was not a lot of choices. I want point a line also on move 26. Uh-huh. Like, uh, instead of knight takes f4, I thought he could play hg, hg, knight e5, fe5, knight f4, ef4, 
And then, um, so, rook, uh, if h5, I have rook g8, I guess, huh? and then bishop f6. Yeah, it's nice that it's a check. And so, instead of h5, you can play rook d1. Rook d1, uh-huh. Pinning, but I think queen c8 is winning for black. Ah, uh, queen c8, and you have this important move, queen g4, coming in to defend everything. Yeah, rook and e6. And unpin him. Rook e6, queen takes rook. Yeah, this is too much material, so, right? But I think if I don't have queen c8, I'm not winning. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I think queen, queen c8 is only winning. Queen d6, h5, or? Yeah, queen d6, h5. Well, let me put this queen, queen d6, h5 in this position, and now I assume rook e6 is the idea? No, hg6. I hg on your bishop is hanging, so I mean, yes. it's, I can make a draw with rook a c8 or something. Right, any passing move is actually a draw. Yeah, rook a c8, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean... But why wouldn't you have course, queen c8? When he played h4, I wanted to try to... Yeah, but I mean, I thought he would go for mm -hmm. some line like this, but I think it doesn't work, so... Did you think the endgame was that bad for him? Um, I, I thought it's unpleasant, mm -hmm. but I, of course, it's uh, not clear if you're gonna win. Like I think maybe in the game I was regretting when I played bishop f4. I thought the winning plan here, well, the winning plan is too much, but I thought <laughs> the best plan is to play bishop b4. Yes, actually, the engines were very adamant about this move as well. Yeah, the thing is, like, I could play bishop b4 earlier, but I decided to put bishop on d6. Mm -hmm. But I think bishop b4, and then basically the knight cannot move because, because in the game he got queen c3 and some counter plans he felt. But I think bishop b4 with very good chances, the point is you play queen e4 and then king e6, king f5. Queen e4, king e6, king f5, right, and the knight is controlled. Yeah, I didn't play this because I thought I didn't see a win after king e2. Mm -hmm. Queen e4, queen takes, d takes, knight g1. Or is it knight g1 and then f, but it's gotta be winning, yeah? So, yeah, it's oh, pretty bad. King e6, king e3. Yeah, and I didn't find a win here, but it looks bad for black. I mean, it's like similar to half the game. All right. And in the game, when did you feel that you finally had it all under control? No, actually, I messed it up. Like around move thirty, so around move thirty-four to thirty-eight, I was just shuffling my pieces. Yes. Like I wasn't sure where to put my king, whether to bring an h five, but it doesn't do anything. Or king or all the way to h five, right? Looks pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty, but it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But also. Like I wasn't sure where to put my king. So around move 39, I was actually figuring that it's probably going to be very, very difficult to win this. And you know, if it's a draw, it's a draw. That's fine. Because I would have been happy with the draw anyway before the game. Mm -hmm. But I thought um, king e2 on move 42 was a serious blunder. Right, and you capitalized on it. Yeah, he probably missed bishop h2. Mm -hmm. After which I didn't see a draw anymore. Yeah, and you were absolutely correct in that assessment. Knight of three, bishop f4, it seems the end game is just lost. Yeah, I'm very shocked we played king e2 because he's got 50 minutes on the clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, any move is, is uh, very solid for white. Okay, you have to defend a little bit, but uh, I mean, I'm not sure what white can play. Like, I think the edges were thinking knight e2. Uh, and then, yeah, king e6, knight so it's king e6. It still looks very, very dangerous to my eyes. It's definitely dangerous. Check, yeah, yeah maybe, h, maybe a check h3. on h3. Yeah. It definitely is dangerous, but hope for survival. King e2 seems like bishop h2 finished off the game. Yeah, he probably missed it. Like he was mm -hmm. calculating bishop f4, queen, right. e, queen e4, d4, f3. No, this is very clever because the knight is actually worse place on f3 than yeah. it is on g1. Yeah, and if he plays knight h3, I have... In this position? What do I have? It? King d6. Huh? King King yeah, D6. I think king d6 uh, was the, king uh, the, D6, the main yeah. move. And pinning, yeah. Yeah, and pinning. Then, yeah. Yeah, so king e2 was just a shocker. Okay, h4 was also a shocker, so Hans made two blunders today. Yeah. Wesley, <laughs> a nice win with the black pieces. You are now in pole position. Do you feel you're ready to win your second Singfield Cup? <laughs> oh, one, one game at a time. But uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the many people, like the St. Louis Chess Club, also the anti cheating team, so like Tony Rich, uh, Joy Bray, also uh, to the arbiters, Chris Bird, and uh, of course to Rex and Jeannie Singfield, by the way, belated happy birthday to him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, to you guys also, to, uh, to Alejandro and uh, Peter and Yasser for all the considerate things that you do every day. I mean, obviously this tournament is uh, uh, a bit messed up with you know, Magnus withdrawing, but hey, he's the best player, so I'm fine with that. But I'm really grateful for 
the things that people did to secure this tournament. I mean, of course, I feel sorry for Hans. He's only 19, and there's a tremendous amount of uh, pressure coming from everybody, and we still don't know 100% what really happened or anything. But uh, <clears throat> my mother had a talk with Tony Rich on the, bef on the day before, and he said the security here is, is even better than in the White House. So after he said <laughs> that, I was very pleased with uh, I'm really grateful to the people who made this tournament secure. Well, that is a big claim. We certainly appreciate it. You make our lives easy because you play these wonderful games like the one you did today. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you are happy to make a drone, you win. Sometimes you try to win and you can't make progress. So that's just how chess goes. Indeed. Well, Wesley, thank you for this and uh, good luck in the rest of your tournament. Yeah, I have a rest day tomorrow. And that's also very that's nice. That's also not bad. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to go. <laughs> Go watch the movies, have a nice meal, try to get uh, 12 hours of sleep, and that will be preparation. Of course, Fiyuth is probably in the must win. What, what is that sorcery that you're Yeah, I don't understand. To. He said 12 hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's humanly possible. I haven't done that. In yeah, ages. well, if you want to sleep for 12 hours, you have to lie in bed for 14 hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's a secret to success, guys. 12 hours of sleep, 14 hours of bed rest. Yeah, that's why it's called rest day, it's not rest, rest day. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you, Wesley, for joining us here. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Uh, thank you, Wesley. Uh,